Hi, I'm Sean O'Shaughnessy, Station Manager at i 98 FM in Wollongong. I did a uh, Bachelor of Communications and Media at Wollongong Uni. Basically managing all facets of the radio station, so um, I'm very focused in uh, with the sales team. I, I'm situated with them and manage them, but I also look out after the other departments as well. So programming, which looks after everything that comes through the speakers. Uh, promotions, who look after all the promotions uh, throughout the radio station. Um, our traffic department, which has nothing to do with uh, roads and traffic, but with uh, our commercial logs. And uh, the road crew, uh, street fleet, who are out on the roads um, engaging with the public. Basically all facets of, of the radio station, um, managing the staff, obviously they've got their own managers within each of those departments, but I liaise with them to make sure everything's running as smoothly as possible. Well, look, I came as a mature age student, so I was in my 30s when I started, and I'd actually um, uh, commenced a, a, a separate degree in exercise science. Did that for six months and uh, decided it wasn't uh, where I wanted to be. I, I didn't quite like chemistry. Um, so I actually stopped doing that degree, had six months off where I worked um, uh, part-time, and then uh, returned to do uh, teaching which again, I did six months of that, decided it wasn't what I wanted and, uh, and changed. And at that time, you know, I was then about 33 years old. Um, and that's when I decided to do something different, follow a passion. And I guess I'd always been interested in media and, uh, and radio. Uh, people used to say, look, you've got a, a decent voice. Why don't you try doing radio? So um, I decided to, to look at what the university offered. And there was a communication and media uh, degree specializing in a, a film at that time, which was uh, also a, a big passion of mine. So. I decided to take that on, so I guess the challenge to me was obviously having all that other experience and, and effort that I put in um, over those uh, two years or one year at uh, actually university and how I could fit that in with the, the degree that I was going to pursue. But it all worked out well and um, yeah, I managed to finish that one. <laughs> well look, I guess an advantage for me was that I was mature age, so you know, a lot of people go to university and it's a lot of new experiences that you don't get you know, in, your, in your previous study as well, so I'd already experienced some of that. Um, there was a lot of social activity there, and uni university is great for that, but I wasn't so focused on that. It was great to meet new people. Um, I'd only just moved to Wollongong uh, initially when I'd come in the first degree. Um, so it was a bit of getting used to, uh, to that aspect of it, but given that I, you know, I was mature age, I found the actual, you know, applying myself to the study side of things, which is the most important aspect of it, um, a, a lot easier than I would have if I'd gone to university and went off straight out of college. Uh, look, I think it's always important to, to look at what you have an aptitude for, what you have an ability for, and the skills, uh, and to mirror that with what you're passionate about. Uh, you know, that's in an ideal world, that's what you want, to mirror those two things. It makes it difficult. I mean, you might have sk great skills in one area, but have no passion for that. Um, and I think a lot of people get caught up in that. Um, so following your, your heart um, and, and matching it with your skills is, is quite important, I think. And, you know, I managed to, to find myself in uh, a career that I, I probably wouldn't have um, thought was where I would end up. Um, and even within the radio industry, I, I kind of initially wanted to be um, on, on the programming side of things, on air, um, and I actually ended up in a, in a sales role, which um, I found I, I was quite, uh, quite good at. What has stayed with me? Uh, it's, been a, it's been a little while since I've been at university, and uh, you know, as we were speaking before, it, it was such a big part of my life. Uh, not only did I study there, but I also uh, worked at the University uh, Recreation Centre. Um, so it really became a, a, you know, a hub for me in terms of my experience in Wollongong. So I think one of the greatest things I took from there was um, you know, the social side of things, even though I mentioned before that I applied myself to my study. The social side of the things is so important. So making the most of that, and I guess um, meeting new people and, and networking and building those, um, those friendships, because eventually those are, you know, a lot of those people will be the same people that you're in the workforce with. And if you can build those relationships at an early stage, it's only going to help you in your career.